And so if you are adopting our continuation betting strategy, you're going to be betting as a pure bluff with a pretty high frequency. You're going to be betting on the flop with absolutely nothing a fair portion of the time. And inevitably, your opponents are going to attempt to respond to this. They're going to try to counter your C-bets. And there's three primary ways in which they can do this. They can call your continuation bet on the flop with the intention of taking the pot away from you on the turn. This is called floating. And the way that we counter floating is by betting again on the turn with an appropriate frequency. We can't just give up all the time when our C-bets miss. As a default strategy, when we're continuation betting as a pure bluff and we get called, we are giving up on the turn. But we're going to fire turn second bullets when we hit a draw of eight outs or more. When a scare card comes that's an ace, king, or a queen, that's an over card to the board, or when we hit top pair or better. And this is covered in our turn second bullets episode, so if you haven't seen that, make sure you watch that episode. It's going to go into detail on how to execute these turn second bullets. This is going to protect your continuation betting strategy against the float. And so this is one of the primary ways in which opponents will start to respond to your c-betting. They're going to call you on the flop with the intention of trying to take it away on the turn. To learn more about the strategies we just talked about, visit LearnWPT.com.